Okay guys, so get this. Two men were indicted for the 2002 murder of Jam Master Jay on Monday, August 17th, and now more details surrounding the case are coming to light. According to the indictment unsealed in the Eastern District of New York, Carl Jordan Jr., Ronald Washington, and the Run DMC legend were engaged in cocaine trafficking. JMJ was killed after a deal reportedly worth $1.7 million went south. ABC7 News reports the late hip-hop pioneer was planning to exclude Washington from the large multi-state drug deal, so Washington and Jordan conspired to carry out the murder. Jam Master J was ultimately shot and killed inside his Jamaica Queens recording studio on October 30th, 2002. While inside, Washington allegedly pointed his firearm at another person inside 24-7 studio and ordered them to lay on the floor. Jordan then allegedly approached JMJ, aimed his weapon at him, and fired two shots at close range, striking him once in the head. The second shot hit another person in the leg. The investigation uncovered the motive for JMJ's murder was his acquisition of roughly 10 kilograms of cocaine from a Midwest narcotics supplier. The cocaine was allegedly intended to be distributed in Maryland by Washington, Jordan, and other co-conspirators. But Jam Master J reportedly informed Washington he wouldn't be involved in the Maryland deal, which precipitated the murder conspiracy. The ATF New York Field Division said they always knew the case was solvable. Working tirelessly alongside the NYPD cold case squad, we were determined to bring justice for the Mizell family and see these killers held accountable, ATF acting special agent in charge McCormick said. For nearly 18 years, one of these alleged perpetrators walked freely, thinking he'd gotten away with murder. But today, thanks to the unwavering efforts of the investigators and prosecutors, two individuals will answer for their crimes. 36-year-old Jordan was arrested on Sunday, August 16th, while the 56-year-old Washington was already in prison on robbery charges. Jordan was arraigned Monday and pleaded not guilty. He'll remain behind bars until the trial on charges of murder, one count of conspiracy to distribute cocaine, and seven counts of cocaine distribution. Federal prosecutors said the case carries the possibility of the death penalty. Both men are expected back in court on September 17th. Jam Master J's murder has captivated the hip-hop community for the past 18 years. In 2018, Netflix released a documentary called Remastered Who Killed Jam Master J, which featured several interviews with his friends, family members, and acquaintances who shared stories they'd heard regarding suspects in his murder. Both Jordan and Washington had long been suspected of being involved. Jordan's Instagram page is littered with tributes to the slain DJ, making his involvement even stranger. But what do you guys think? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.